Scientists at the Duke University Medical Center have successfully conducted a mind meld experiment that linked the brains of two rats in different countries via the internet and got them to perform identical tasks. Adding to its science fiction feel, the advance in direct brain-to-brain -brain communication could lay the foundation for what neurobiologist Miguel Nicolis, who led the research, calls an organic computer in which multiple brains are linked to solve problems solo brains can't, reports Reuters. In this clip you can see a rat in the United States responding to the brain waves of a rat situated in Brazil and mimicking its behaviour. Why should we be concerned about the implications of this study? Because it was funded by a $26 million DARPA grant. DARPA, of course, being an agency of the US Defense Department. And, of course, DARPA's main area of research funding over the last few years has been focused around building robots that can hunt down and even kill, quote, non-cooperative humans. The robots developed by Boston Dynamics will be ready for use by 2014. This is the cheetah robot that can outrun Usain Bolt. This is the LS3 robot, which is designed to autonomously track people through rugged terrain. This is the big dog robot that can recover its balance when kicked. And here's the pet man robot that can balance itself as it walks. Responding to DARPA's funding of these new programs, Professor of Robotics Noel Sharkey said it's unfortunate that these robots are, quote, going to be used to kill people. Ronald Arkin, a robotics expert at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, wrote in a study commissioned by the US Army, quote, the trend is clear. Warfare will continue and autonomous robots will ultimately be deployed in its conduct. The pressure of an increasing battlefield tempo is forcing autonomy further and further toward the point of robots making that final lethal decision, he predicted, adding that such a scenario will be in place by 2020. So, within a decade, will we see armies of robots linked via mind-meld technology patrolling the battlefields, or even patrolling our streets? Experts at the University of Cambridge are currently conducting research into the extinction-level risks posed to humanity by artificially intelligent robots. And top futurists like Ray Kurzweil and Bill Joy have predicted that the entire planet will be run by an artificially intelligent system by the end of the century and that most humans will become superfluous. While CNN says that we're all going to have a brain chip that controls our behaviour within 75 years. Commenting on the mind meld study, one scientist who asked not to be named said, Quote, having non-human primates communicate brain to brain raises all sorts of ethical concerns. Reading about putting things in animals' brains and changing what they do, people rightly get nervous. Envisioning battalions of animal soldiers or even human soldiers whose brains are remotely controlled by others. So while we're still some way off a Skynet Terminator-style system, let there be no doubt that the US government is driving scientific research towards a future where robots connected via wireless brain links, as primitively demonstrated in the rat study, will form a Borg army which will be used to hunt down and kill terrorists, and whoever else the state deems to be a threat. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.